What makes a professional women's network valuable? I've, I've really used my network. So part of my, I think my success with my book has been leveraging the networks um, that I'm part of, and 85 Broads is one of those. And I think they're an incredible women's network. Uh, I've had so many people that help me. Part of it is, is we share a passion for helping other women succeed because we have seen that there's challenges out there. Everyone's coming from a different field and you can see how sometimes it's not as easy to make connections um, in some of the organizations where most of them are in male dominated environments. So it, you see that connection. Uh, what I think becomes so successful is that passion that people have for each other. And what's interesting about that particular environment is people are from across the board. So when I'm interested, here I am, I was a corporate executive. I've been in the advertising world, the finance world, um, marketing. I've just switched through so many worlds. Now I'm in the publishing world and the writing world. Uh, and the reality is, is I need, as I switch through different things, I don't necessarily have a network all piled up. Mm -hmm. um, but what I found is through the women's network, I do have a network all piled up. I have, I can reach out to all these people in different industries and say, hey, I just got a book deal and I have no idea what to do. Do I need an agent? Do I not? And not everyone takes the risk of going out there and just reaching out to people they don't know. But I think that's one of the best things that I do is I'm very comfortable with it. And the reality is I help so many people that you have to, it's an exchange. I'm always, I'm always looking out for who can I help? Um, and I always have people reaching out to me and I make it within any kind of busy day that I have to help, you know, a certain number of people that week. That's just, you make the time for it because so many people have helped me um, along the way. And the fact that when you have that accessible, when pe it's such a diverse group of people that we have and it's mm -hmm. so accessible that I think it just, it makes it completely, you know, people are able to do, kind of get whatever they need out of that environment, which I think is amazing. Do you tend to find yourself working more with people at your level or work reaching up and, and dealing with more senior individuals or is it, does it vary? I will grab any which way um, and I don't have a problem reaching out to the senior people. I think you always have to be careful and it's one of the advice I give to younger women when I'm talking is um, one of the things I wasn't scared of and I haven't been is I typically do reach out to very senior people but there usually needs to be a reason. So I mean I'm not talking you don't walk into a 50,000 person corporation and contact the CEO right away. But I've seen a lot in my environment. I worked at Johnson & Johnson and I was interning there once and the, um, there was a president of that whole organization that I was in charge of, that she, was, she ran that whole organization. And I mean, my bosses, bosses, bosses probably didn't talk to her very often. But I just decided, we had a connection that we talked about meditation. I heard her mention it to someone else. I didn't speak directly to her. And honestly, I just wanted to meet her. I was interning there. She seemed really interesting. So I reached out to her and nobody else would reach out to her. My boss wouldn't reach out to her. Um, and I just let her know. I wanted to get to know her a little better. I was interested in what she'd said about meditation. And there it was. I mean, I ended up meeting her and she was one of my biggest advocates for the rest of the time. And the reality is, is I think a lot of people are too scared. We see the hierarchy. And, uh, but when I think there's a natural, I wouldn't be persistent about reaching out to someone incredibly senior, but sometimes you take that risk and it really pays off. And I'm one of those people that are very comfortable taking that risk.